Watiko and the Great Remembering. In recent times of the Rona pandemic, we heard much about mass formation psychosis or mass delusional psychosis. This appears to be how it manifests on the human level. But does this relate to an ancient concept of Watiko? the original mind virus. In its Native American meaning, Watiko is described as an evil cannibalistic spirit, one that can take over people's minds, activating the most ancient part of the human brain, the R complex or the reptilian complex. Does this cause us to forget who we truly are? Have we forgotten the nature of our relationship to animals, to the trees, to the universe? This all began when we were forced into agriculture by what some believe to be the Anunnaki. Were we created or did we have our DNA manipulated so we would be no more than slaves to mine gold? But beings such as the Anunnaki, from Sumer, Babylon, to Greece, to Rome, to the highlands of Scotland, to New Troy, which is now the city of London, these bloodlines may have controlled humanity for thousands of years. Is there a narrative being pushed that we came from the stars? known as panspermia or directed panspermia, when in fact, we came from the Earth. They have been stunted via DNA experiments before we can even begin to change our stance, from one of defense to one of a people who push back. Do we first need to remember who we are?